What's up, guys? That really gross guy here, and we are back, and I am here with kind of a new uh, build. Now, this was a build that I wasn't really intending on making um, until... Well, actually, this build is probably going to receive some tweaks, for sure. Uh, first off, he is 100% unranked, so he is definitely going to be tweaked mod-wise. But um, I'm kind of a little while back, and, and seeing some of the Frost skins that have been made through Tenogen... I've always wanted to make a new frost, uh, you know, frost design, and maybe use one of the Tenogen skins as inspiration. But currently, because we've received a free Frost Prime with the Twitch Prime access, um, I decided that I would just kind of, kind of at least put one, uh, one full ranking through him and form of him. And I figured I might as well just throw some weapons on him and have a little bit of fun with it. But uh, anyways, I'm going to run the deck Sabaris, which uh, I have a couple of because I've gotten some from a couple of the anniversaries. Run the Pandero, which I pulled off of my um, my uh, Octavia, and I gave her the Psychron, and then I put the Pandero on him because I felt like it, it fits kind of well. And then lastly is the Cybear. And uh, that's just because, I mean, Ice, I really thought he would be a really cool heavy attack, um, especially because it's an ice weapon. So... Um, I kept him with, like, a um, an armor color, like a very, like, old-school medieval knight, like, armor color. Um, you know, being being silver. Um, just because I felt like it fits. Like, his armor, the way his armor is designed, it fits really, really well. It's very similar if you have seen my, um, my Frost Harka skin coloration. Very, very similar to that. Um, maybe, uh, maybe sometime soon, I, if, for those of you who have not... I will play as my Harka Frost so that you guys can check him out. Um, I have him themed around Odin, if you know who Odin is. Um, a lot of you, I mean, a lot of you, I'm sure, know who Odin is, being, uh, um, you know, now that he has come through, like, the Marvel Universe, right? Marvel? Not DC. Marvel? I don't know. Anyway, no, actually, maybe it is DC. I think it is DC. Um, anyways, I'm not, I'm not too, you know, tied into comics, but anyways, um, and he's not necessarily tied specifically to the way I see him in the comics. Um, that Harka skin is more towards uh, how I've seen him in like Final Fantasy, like the like the the real um, like uh, I think there's there's a difference between like Norse and like Greek mythology or something like that. And I believe the he's he's seen differently depending on which mythology you follow. Anyways, that's that's. Not this frame, so we will we'll get off that topic. But um, yeah, pretty awesome. I love Frost, and um, I know the way his his Harka skin. I know this is the Harka skin, but you know my main Harka design is not this one. But I know that he has like the turtleneck thing going on. But I think it looks great with his uh, Frost Prime helm. But I think it looks terrible with all the other helms, other than obviously the one it was meant to go with. But um, I actually think that looks all right. I, to me, um, if you guys don't know, the like a lot of old knights and whatnot, they had to wear some sort of whether it be chainmail or whatever. They had to have some sort of armor that would protect their neck, which is why they couldn't really bend their neck straight down a lot. Um, they had to have some sort of neck armor because that's just an open spot for someone to get a. A dagger or a sword up underneath the helmet and be just absolutely detrimental. You'd die. You absolutely would die getting stabbed through the throat. You'd be dead. So it existed. So I thought that it actually it actually fit fairly decently. Now, not with like I said, not with all helmets. Uh, is that a right proper sentence? Anyways, <laughs> not with every helmet. But um, but there you have it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the coloration. He's got this. Um, oh, this this whatever going on right here with this energy color or whatever i don't know what that's all about but um what what is actually causing that what what causes that because i don't have any of his abilities currently fluctuating oh i saw something up in the right hand corner there was a counter oh berserk right no that's not berserk is it hold on hold on let me get the kills and stuff so i can turn around and get a look at him was it berserk that was getting that coloration no it's not berserk it was another proc some kind of proc. I don't know what it was, but... Um, oh, maybe it was my headshot off my Pandero. Do I have uh, that, that mod on here? Uh, what's the mod called? Um, isn't there an alt fire for the Pandero? It's not working right now. 
Yeah, it's not working right now. Unless my... My... No. All my other controls are correct, so I don't think, uh... I don't think those controls got changed. Anyways. Um... Maybe... Let's see if I get another... Another proc going. Okay. So we have all that. Hydraulic crosshairs? Is that what that was? So I know I have it on. But it's not giving me that coloration. I'm not too sure what that was. Anyway. Um... Bam! Get this going. Um, so yeah. Um... Let me, uh, let me give you guys a better look now that, uh, that coloration was not all over him. Let's get out here. Yeah, just that armor. That armor looks so good with him. And I like, I kind of like this aggressive stance, but it's so hard to get a good look at a, at a Warframe in, like, this bent over stance, so I almost want to switch him back to, like, a noble stance instead of, like, the agile stance. Um, this is my personal preference, is I like the more, like noble looking you know like straight up and down kind of uh i don't know up and down kind of look rather than like the the agile stance some some frames absolutely agile is the way to go like you get like avar and stuff very predator type frame but a lot of these like tanky frames and frames that uh i don't know just just take damage and look very armored up kind of i don't know they, they they just look so good in that uh that like broad shouldered kind of stance so anyways um yeah see i don't i'm not getting alternate fire am i thinking of the wrong weapon i'm pretty sure this is the one that fires all the remainder of its magazine right or am i just am i just totally confusing it with the wrong one anyways um ice wave thank you like i said this was completely unranked so you are gonna see uh, myself level up and get abilities and whatnot as we uh kind of continue on with it and obviously these abilities are going to be very very bad because they have not met their full potential but um if you guys would like i think i'm gonna hop into another one of these exterminates because i mean 50 enemies come on come on we need more than that we need more than 50 enemies in one episode but um yeah so let's uh let's hop on out of here and let's get into another um fissure mission um i'm hoping for I don't know if I already have it, but oh yeah, there it is. Sybaris Prime Stock. I'm pretty sure I already have one, but I just figured, you know, I'd get another one and then maybe I'll just throw it up on the market eventually for a full Sybaris if I am lucky enough to get all the parts. But there you have it. Oh, I didn't even use the deck Sybaris. So I, I have to go back through. Let's get another one in here. Um, I hope uh, hope you guys are down, are down for that. But uh, let's hop in, bam, let's go exterminate. And since we already got the Sabaris Prime stock, let's try for something else. I'm running low on lifts because I've just been knocking out lifts left and right. Um, just for ducats. Um, let's go Helios Prime Systems. I don't think I have the system, so let's hope for that. And a Valkyrie Prime System would be nice too, but let's hope for that Helios. Because I don't have Helios Prime yet. I've been, I've been flaking. I've been flaking on getting some of this stuff done. But um, here we go. Here we go. One more, one more mission. Let's get through it. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's use the Dex Sabaris this time. Um, I believe I cranked up its damage through serration, so hopefully uh, this is a cinch. But, um, here we go. Bam! Okay, let's just check. Oh, yeah, damage-wise, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, we're good. We're good damage-wise. Sabaris, man, do not sleep on the Sabaris, uh, especially the Dex. Uh, well, I mean, you have to sleep on it because it's an anniversary gun if you don't have it. But, um, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's fantastic. Get get the Sabaris Prime if possible, because, damn. It's one of my favorite favorite guns. I really like these lever actions, especially this two-shot lever action. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. Let's see if we can just... Oh, not quite one-shot the Guardian Eximus, but close. Close. Um, you want to go? You want to go? Okay. I'm I'm having a, today's an off day. I'm just having an off day. I've been back and forth between controller and mouse recently because I've been playing uh, uh some other games. But um, yeah, I've been I've been like struggling on analog. I've been struggling on my my mouse. I'm like, man, I need to I need to just stick with one, get good with one or the other, man. But I I can't play Warframe on the controller. I am significantly worse. Not that I'm already bad enough, but I am significantly worse on the uh, 
on the controller for sure. Oh, can we? Yeah, here we go. Nullifier down. So now I can afford to get some of these going. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have the uh, Ice Wave Impedance down. So I don't have that spread the way I want it. Um, actually, does Ice Wave Impedance increase the spread? Or is that just from it leveling up? Because you see it spreads a little bit. Maybe it has to be level 3 for it to have that really big spread. I don't know. I'm not a Frost player. I want to be. Because Frost is a really solid frame. Um, I just have very bland Frost. I basically just do a, uh, um, a snow globe. A, a small range strength snow globed Frost. And that's about all I really have. I haven't made one specifically for... Because I know, I know some people that make their... They're frost specifically for mobile defenses, some specifically for defenses, some specifically so they can spam snow globe, so they can have like four snow globes around the tar I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know the meta around uh, frost all that well. So I do, I do like his mechanics. I do like the way he works. I just uh, have not really put a lot of time and effort into into creating a really, really solid frost. So, um, I, that's that's kind of my goal. It's kind of my goal uh, with this build and when I get a uh, one of the Tenogen skins, my goal is to kind of uh, hammer down on my frost gameplay and find a frost that I absolutely just love. Um, because, like I said, I do enjoy, de I definitely enjoy playing as him. I know he can be incredibly useful. Um, I just really haven't had the time to research uh, how, what's the, what, what kind of builds to, to go with him. Um, and like I said, I know there's a couple, there's many different ways to build him, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I'm not the kind of uh, uh, I'm not too offensive. I love kind of hunkering down and holding a point and kind of being that kind of guy. So I feel like Snow Globe is definitely something I wanna uh, I wanna build for, but like I was kind of saying, is should I? I don't know if I want to build towards his def, uh, his power strength, or if I should build towards his range, or maybe I just crank up or you know work on efficiency and uh, just run three or four Snow Globes across the section. Like maybe if I were to now that I have Snow Globe unlocked, if I was to do something like this and just kind of create a barrier. And just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what would be effective. I really have no idea, so. Um, I think that's what I intend, that's my intention, was to run this as Snow Globe and try out his augment. Um, his, I don't, I forgot exactly what his Snow Globe augment does. All I know is that uh, enemies get frozen when they enter your Snow Globe, and I think it stops enemies from being able to enter your snow globe if there are too many enemies already in it. Am I right about that? I mean, I can, I'm definitely going to look it up. Oh, can I please? Oh, I was trying so hard to get my, uh, uh, my five, uh, my five, my, um, focus, focus running, but anyways, uh, yeah, let me know. I mean, uh, I'm definitely going to go look it up, but maybe someone in the, in the comments wants to know, uh, or in a comment. Yeah, just... If someone wants to know in the comments, help them out. Let them know uh, what, what augments do what, and maybe what your build is. Um, I'm curious, too, but I'm sure other people uh, might be curious as to how to make an effective Frost. Um, and thank you for some of you guys. I have had a few comments of you guys saying, hey, I build my Frost, or, uh, you know, I build this frame that way, or this way or that way. Uh, someone recently said to try uh, the Mastery Rank test I'm working on. Someone tried use saying or told me to try to use Ash and his lethal teleport, and that's kind of the idea. That's kind of what I was thinking, and uh, um, they confirmed that that's how they did it. So uh, thank you to that. If you're watching right now, thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, that's probably going to be one of the ways I get that mastery rank test done. Now I do want to do it with a couple different frames because I do want to show you guys a few ways of doing it in case you have a different play style or in case you just don't have certain builds. 
Like, if you don't have an Ash with the lethal teleport and a really good dagger or whatever to use, like, uh, covert lethality or you don't have covert lethality, then you might need to see it with a different frame, like a Frost or a Avara or something like that, a Nyx. So I want to do it a couple different ways for you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about this build, uh, ways I could improve it, and maybe how you build your Frost or, um, or yeah, edu educate some peeps. Um, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm, uh, I just wanted, because you guys have made it to the end of the video, I just want to reward you guys. Um, recently I gave away a little bit of plat. I'm going to in a very soon in an upcame, upcoming video, so probably in the next two or three videos, um, there will be a way to get some platinum, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Um, for those of you who are new, subscription will be awesome. A like would be awesome. I rarely say that, so I just want to put it out there for you guys. Thank you. Until next time. Blah!